Meantime, Vice President Kamala Harris gears up for her closing argument on the National Mall. This is fallout from former President Trump's Madison Square Garden rally continues this morning. NBC's Alice Barr joins us now live with the latest from Washington. Alice, good morning. Good morning, Dave. And in this incredibly tight race, the nominees are pushing right down to the wire. Former President Trump saying that he feels enthused and inspired as Vice President Harris is preparing for that closing argument to sum up her case for the White House. One week until Election Day, and the nominees are zeroing in on their closing arguments. Vice President Harris preparing for a speech tonight at the site where former President Trump spoke directly before the January 6th Capitol attack, looking to drive home her case that he's a threat to democracy. And now he wants unchecked power. The former president pushing back against what he called the most sinister and corrupt forces on earth. With your vote this election, you can show them once and for all that this nation does not belong to them. This nation belongs to you. Mr. Trump also accused the Harris campaign of casting him as a Nazi, following recent claims from past Trump administration staffers that he said Hitler did some good things, too, claims he strongly denies. I'm the opposite of a Nazi. That as the campaign works to distance itself from bipartisan backlash over a comedian's racist remarks at the Trump Madison Square Garden rally Sunday, including calling Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. The campaign saying that does not reflect former President Trump's views. Said, His running mate not, adding I this. I'm not going to comment on the specifics of the joke, but I think that we have to stop getting so offended at every little thing in the United States of America. I'm just, I'm so over it. While at her rally in Michigan last night, Vice President Harris responded to protests over the war in Gaza. I hear you. On the subject of Gaza, we all want this war to end as soon as possible. A critical issue threatening Democrat support in a must-win state. The Harris campaign is expecting upwards of 20,000 people when she gives her speech tonight here in D.C., while former President Trump will rally supporters at the same time in Pennsylvania. Dave? All right, Alice Barr, live for us in D.C. Thank you.